Hey guys, welcome back to Shane Complains. First off, thanks for clicking on this video. It is much appreciated. Um, so first off, you know, it's been a minute. I haven't really said anything. I haven't really been recording anything on YouTube at all recently. But um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, follow me on um, Twitter, you definitely see what's going on in my life. But anyway, just been really busy with everything. What's going on? Anyway, first, but we're going to start off with some of this news. Um, this one kind of, not, not really hit home, but kind of affected me in a sense. Not really, but more more, more precisely my friend. Um, a few weeks ago, I told you about um, on Instagram, I mean on Instagram, Amazon, you know, um, people are selling their, um, through third parties, people are selling um, um, the Nintendo Switches. But come to find out, some of those could be scams. Now, of course, the big one of the big red flags is if you try, they try to sell it to you, and instead of being three ninety nine, oh not three ninety nine, but uh, two ninety nine or three hundred bucks, it's maybe two fifty, it might be um, two hundred or whatever it may be. You know, that's a big red flag right there, guys. So just know that you know <laughs> that is too good to be true. But then there's also people trying to sell it for more than three hundred. You know, whatever. My friend was um, was w bought one. Through, you know, through this whole process uh, for, for 400 something dollars or whatever. But what happened was the shipping date either got moved or the, the actual initial shipping date was really far off. So what happened was the scammers would set the shipping date to maybe like uh, four or five weeks or so. And then by the time, maybe by the third week, fourth week, before they actually have to ship out the product or whatever, you know they have their money and then they know where to be found they're gone they got the 300 bucks 400 bucks and they're gone so anyway that's pretty much what's been going on with the scam so of course you know amazon definitely on top of it now but if you see something too good to be true rethink it don't buy it you know even like 80 dollars i've seen you know 89 dollars for um for nintendo switch that's too good to be true guys come on let's be serious anyway now there's some there's some news about E3 coming out. That potentially be a lot of a lot of games being showed. And I mean, not a lot of good games, but not a lot of good, um, not big announcements by Nintendo. I mean, I'm just I'm just curious to know why they haven't said anything about the um, online service. But whatever, all we pretty much got is a price. It's pretty much going to be um, about 26 US dollars or so, 25 or 26 US dollars or whatever. But it was nice to, nice to know what the hell we're actually getting. I know we're going to be definitely be a lot better than before that we have been getting, you know, with the online play. And honestly, I don't really care about paying for the service as long as I'm getting a good service. Right? I know a lot of people complaining about, you know, Nintendo charging for online service, but then those same people are complaining about the fact that Nintendo's online service sucks. So, you know, come on, guys. Just pick, pick, pick what do you want? You want horrible service? For free, we want good service and you get to pay for it. You know, everyone else is doing it. PlayStation, of course, we've been over this before. PlayStation and Xbox is doing it. So get over it, guys. Anyway, on to some possible games that I want to see. You know, I've you know, heard at E3. Okay, I definitely want to see Metroid. I haven't been really a big Metroid fan. I played at Metroid Prime. I never actually played on Super Nintendo, you know, when Metroid came out. Um... I uh, but I would definitely uh, be more willing to pay play uh, Metroid Prime. I mean, of course, the whole back to the whole VR thing, having Nintendo Switch, you know, glued to your forehead. You know, you're playing Amazon. I mean, uh, you're playing Metroid. You're playing as uh, Samus. Uh, uh, you know, Metroid, and you know, you pretty much in that VR setting or VR mode or whatever will be very very interesting to do. You know, of course, you have the Joy Cons or whatever. You're turning your wrist. I mean, you're doing all this stuff. It would be pretty cool if you think about it. You know, so that's a possibility. And of course, you know, Smash Brothers. You got. You cannot have a console and not have Smash Brothers. You cannot have a Nintendo console and not have Smash. You know, um, I hope to God that they have more um, details about you know uh, Mario Odyssey. Um, I do also. I'm a big fighting games fan. Um, and soon as um, Street Fighter comes out. Um, I think it's May 26th. I'm definitely gonna do some. Um, try to get more. Uh, what you call it? Um, some feed, uh, like live, not live feed, but some gameplay footage on, you know, on my channel because I really enjoy finding games. I'm not 100% good. I'm not like 
you know, the best at it, but I enjoy playing fighting games. I play fighting games like Killer Instinct on Super Nintendo and um, um, Nintendo 64 to the point, and even Street Fighter 2, when I went on Street Fighter 2, my, my thumb was being rubbed off, you know, so that's how much I love um, playing f fighting games. Don't get me wrong, I'm playing Zelda, you know, I haven't put any footage up on of uh, me playing Zelda. I definitely, when I finally get to um, Ganon, you know, granted right now, to be honest with you, it's been over a month since the game came out, and I'm honestly just working on my third um, dungeon or my third um, guardian or whatever you can call it. Um, now, it's just, honestly, I, one, I've been swamped at work, but two, that, sh that game is freaking hard. You know, I'm dying a lot of times, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the best gamer. I'm not a pro gamer at all. But, you know, I'm playing this game, and it's just, it's, I'm dying countless times you know I'm trying to explore too as well but I'm dying countless times but you know it is what it is that's what makes Zelda that's why Zelda such a great game so anyway it's on some other stuff now um yeah uh oh yeah I know you guys have seen by now the uh, NBA playground playground trailer and you saw of course it is for Nintendo Switch so I mean to, to me that shows that there's promise developers are starting to see you know, starting to realize that, you know, Nintendo Switch can make me some money. All I have to do is give them some good games, and we can, we can all make some good money. You know, of course, you guys heard of Square Onyx. I mean, Square, they're definitely, um, said they're focusing on the Switch right now. They're not going to be focused on it too much. Like I said, they're not going to focus on the other systems, but they're going to focus a lot on the Switch developing games for them. Because they're seeing the numbers. They're seeing what's coming out. They're seeing what's, what's happening with Nintendo Switch. They're seeing it. You know, and they realize, oh, oh crap! I better get, I better jump in this, jump on this wagon right now, and start, you know, you know, making myself some money, you know, while I can. So anyway, um, also two is Overwatch. You know, there was an interview with Overwatch saying the um the CEO of Overwatch uh, Blizzard saying that he wants to, he would love to have Nintendo. I mean, make um Overwatch for the Nintendo Switch, but. To be realistic, you know, you know if it can handle that, the system might not be able to handle that one, and two, they might not be able to handle a, a fourth. Pretty much, would be a fourth um system because I believe it's on PS, I mean, uh, PC, it's on Xbox and on PlayStation. Overwatch so far, so for them to do all that stuff for four system, I believe I think it is on PC. But anyway, for them to do have another like um uh, another you know platform to develop for. That means, you know, creating the game, first off, and then creating patches for all these systems will be a lot, you know. So, I mean, I understand it, but it seems like he's really willing to think about it and maybe probably put some stuff together to, you know, have an Overwatch on the system. It would be pretty, pretty cool. Now, I just have to talk about some bad news, I guess you could say. I mean, we talked about the scammers, you know, all that kind of stuff from Amazon, but now this is on Nintendo side. You know, possibly, you know, the whole over overheating thing with the Nintendo Switch being in a dock mode and the system actually overheating. Now, um, me personally, I don't have to worry about that because I'm pretty much, for the most part, playing undocked. Um, but, I mean, I'm, and when it comes to battery life, I'm playing Zelda for the most part. I don't really have to worry about battery so much. I mean, I mean, I have an, an, an a cord, you know, AC adapter. You know, I'm definitely, for the most part... When I get home from work, I'm docking the system so it's charged by the time I'm ready to leave for work or whatever. But anyway, um, apparently if you have it docked for a long period of time and gameplay, I mean playing the game, playing the dock, sorry, playing the dock, the, the system starts to bend, starts to warp, begins to warp and actually bend. You know, so honestly, I have one one thing or one, yeah, pretty much one thing to blame for that. And honestly, I think it's Zelda. People are playing Zelda for long periods of time. Let's be serious, guys. You guys are playing it for a long, long, long time. I'm hearing, hearing people, they, they're going for like 14 hours playing. You know, they, they, they cut out of work. I mean, this is the beginning, but I don't know if people are still doing it right now. Maybe there are some people that's trying to get 100% of the game done, which has a bit, I haven't heard anything yet. That people actually have done that. I know people have beating it, you know, beat Ganon. I've seen gameplay of people beating Ganon or what have you, but there hasn't been anybody that actually, that I've seen that has done 100%. But I know people are actually trying, and it's not going to be easy, in my opinion. And just FYI, guys, if you are trying to get the Master Sword, I actually found a forest. 
they used to get the master sword. And for some reason, I try to jump into it, I try to glide into it. And for some reason, I keep on vanishing. The screen turns white, and then I'm back where I actually originally jumped from. So I'm assuming because of the fact that I don't have enough hearts to actually go into there. Because if you go into there and you try to pull the sword out, each second you try to pull, you lose a heart. And I think, I believe you need 13 heart pieces to actually get the Master Sword. So that's what I like about this game. I kind of do, kind of don't. Because I would love to have the Master Sword and the shield. The shield you can pretty much get pretty easily. It's right by the um, the castle. Underneath the castle, something like that. But um, the Master Sword, apparently, you know, you got to jump into this forest. You know, we see the tree. I know you guys saw the trailer. See so the trees talking to you. Let me tell you the story, whatever kind of stuff. And... For you to pull it out, like like I said, each second you lose a heart, you lose a heart, you lose a heart. I would really love to make sure I get the sword by the end of the end of me playing this playing this game, but we'll see. You know, you never know. Um, anyway, on to some other stuff. Um, now this is like me just you just throwing some some stuff out there. In my opinion, um, just like a my opinion piece, if you will. Now. Of course, people playing Zelda. Some other games coming out. Like I said, NBA Playgrounds coming in March. I'm um, not March. Um, May 5th. I mean, May 1st. You know, so the game's coming out now. Slowly and surely, these games coming out. Mario's coming out. I mean, I'm March. Mario Kart's coming out, I believe, at the end of this month, the 26th, um, I want to say. But, or 25th, something like that. 24th, 25th. Now, there's something I, you know, people are still talking about right now, and that's a virtual console. You know, it would be nice if Nintendo had that now. You know, maybe I'm hoping, let's just cross our fingers by the time the um, online service comes out, that's when it's going to be available too. Let's also, I mean, let's also hope that it's going to be um, a, just like pretty much like a Netflix kind of setup, you know, kind of thing. I mean, let's hope for that. I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. But anyway, now there's some things that, and there's something I would love to see. I would love to see GoldenEye. I would love to see that game, GoldenEye, on Nintendo Switch. And just imagine whether it's, go whether it's um, local play or online multiplayer with GoldenEye. Honestly, I don't care about the graphics. The graphics are the same exact way. You can call it HD for all you want, but it'd be the same exact way. I don't care. But imagine you're playing GoldenEye. And I don't know if you, anybody, you guys probably haven't played GoldenEye 007. Um, that game has ruined friendships, has called arguments with, with brothers and sisters or brothers or whatever you want to call it, whatever happened, you know, it has ruined a lot of relationships, pretty much. That multiplayer um, game was unbelievable. I love playing that thing. I never got the golden gun or whatever, but, you know, I love playing it. It angered me. It made me happy, killing my brothers occasionally, you know, and all that kind of stuff. You know, so imagine playing GoldenEye on the Switch. Multiplayer, playing, playing your friend, you know, he's in, you know, he's at work. You know, you're at work, but you're playing GoldenEye real quick on your break. Imagine that. Just imagine that. I mean, I don't know if it's even possible to do something like that. You bring back a, a retro game and putting like an online multiplayer, I don't know, code or whatever. I'm not good with technical stuff. But online, like, uh, multiplayer code into the system. Whatever for you to actually play that game. That would be freaking phenomenal. Whether it's just local or it's multiplayer, online multiplayer. I mean, either one would be great. Both would be amazing. But either one would be great. But if I have that game, oh my god, that would be so amazing, guys. So amazing. So, I mean, so many other games I definitely want to see um that i've played i mean most of the rare games like banjo banjo kazooie banjo tooie you know um um uh, what to call it that's that game um killer instinct honestly that's the first fighting game i really fell in love with i uh, don't get me wrong i love mortal kombat i loved um street fighter but the game i actually fell in love with fighting game wise was killer instinct it had it was a mixture of both in my opinion i talked about that before but anyway guys now comment below, let me know if you guys are actually still playing Zelda, you know, if you guys, I mean, I don't be playing Zelda, you probably are, still are, but comment below if you've beaten Zelda yet, if you haven't, sorry, if you haven't beaten Zelda yet, you know, if you're, you know, pretty much in my, you know, where I'm at right now, I'm not really, I haven't really beat, I'm enjoying the game, don't get me wrong, I'm in, definitely enjoying the game, but comment below if you haven't, you know, beaten Zelda yet, and you got the system day one, if you didn't, you know, whatever, but, um, 
it's just been been crazy trying to beat that game but it's fun it's absolutely fun i bought a few games too i haven't really played yet i bought um the uh, racing race uh, ra uh racing neo um R R rmx i bought that i bought shovel knights i never played that before so i bought that i mean i wish that these indie games actually had demos so i can be more inclined to actually you know play demo and actually be more inclined to play the demo i mean i mean buy the game but I am looking forward to a few other games that a Hawaii, um, Hawaii, I forgot what it was called, but the Hawaii game, I totally forgot what it was called. It slipped my mind right now. But anyway, guys, just comment below and let me know if you guys are still playing Zelda if you haven't beaten it yet. Um, I know sure as hell I haven't beaten it yet, and I look, I'm look, i looking forward to actually, you know, kick killing um, Ganon because it's really getting annoying right now that I haven't beaten it yet. And I'm seeing all these people <laughs> beating the game, you know really fast too i mean some people are beating i'm seeing beating like the uh the bosses certain bosses real easy and i'm struggling with them but anyway guys um hope all is well hope um you guys are having a good day and um just once again it's shane from shane complains comment below um share this video like this video and um definitely um, um follow me on like i said on instagram and um on twitter and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, I got a lot more videos coming. Like I said, I'm gonna have some more gameplay. I mean, I have some actual have some gameplay when um, I get Street Fighter. Um, like I said, I love fighting games more than anything else. All right, guys. Like I said, I hope all is well. You guys have a good. One.